Uh, here's a look at uh, some of what's happening in aviation today, or, or is the um, more to the point, what's not happening. The uh, images on Flight Radar 24 are uh, revealing. Uh, you see the uh, low number of aircraft moving around New Zealand. This was uh, a picture taken at, um, at the morning peak uh, and very few flights. Now what we are going to see uh, in the future are even fewer than those. Uh, Air New Zealand executives and operational staff are now working uh, on what will become a very much reduced skeleton domestic ne network for the duration of the lockdown. Uh, the airline did fly to 20 domestic destinations. This may cut to around about half a dozen. This week is shaping up as a challenging one for staff relations at Air New Zealand as job cuts uh, have to be made. So, uh, so far the airline said about a third of its 12,500 workforce could go and this is likely to start with those based overseas. Until now the airline and the four unions covering around about 8,000 of the workers have been singing off the same song sheet. Um, but the tough calls that need to be made um, will mean this is going to be challenged. Uh, revelations that eight long haul cabin crew have contracted the COVID-19 virus uh, has the potential to further complicate negotiations and, and test years of a, a collaborative approach in, to industrial relations. The airline is parking up many of its uh, passenger aircraft um, as loads dwindle to next to nothing. On Sunday there were just 670 domestic flyers. Uh, one A320 had, had just one passenger on board. Uh, loads on the much restricted international network are also abysmal. Uh, although there's high demand for freight where prices are rising. Now traditionally cargo has been the cream on top but it now is becoming core business for airlines. And uh, of course airlines around the world are parking up planes in all kinds of places on runways deserts. Uh, one estimate had about 6,000 aircraft parked up by the end of last week. Uh, one other airline that hasn't uh, yet pulled out of uh, New Zealand is Qatar Airways, main, which is maintaining a good part of its 70 city global network, including to Australia and New Zealand. There's still demand for seats and uh, as people are scrambling to get home. Uh, and um, one uh, passenger was asked to pay $80,000 for a one-way flight to London. Business class, maybe, but uh, that's the kind of pricing that the public remembers. The crisis also meant um, airlines are doing things that they haven't done before. Uh, today an Austrian Airlines 777 is making a 16,000 kilometre flight from Vienna to Sydney uh, as part of a re repatriation effort. It'll stop on Malaysia on the, on the way home uh, with uh, close to 300 passengers on board. 